the thing that I want everybody to know about this journey is that it's not that we're trying to build fighters, we're trying to build good people. What I like about downtown boxing, uh, we ain't nothing but a, like a big family. Like we have our problems and times and stuff, but we cool. We all together. Yeah, we work out real good. We work out real good together. I love coming here, and I think, sure, I'm doing this for free, but I get more out of it, or just as much out of it as everyone I'm helping. Like this is the highlight of my day. I love being here. The sports is kind of where they get their their self-esteem and confidence, really, to try to do better in school because a lot of them do not do that well and the school system has really failed them in a lot of ways. So here you don't you don't have that joker in the classroom or somebody that want to point fingers at you because you're not reading as well as the next guy. I like to come here and get tutored because help me keep my grades up. Megan she real she real helpful and it's like we all like a, a big family. We all laugh, joke around, fight. With the sports and the boxing, they pretty much like brothers and sisters in here. They, they, they grow to love each other, to know each other, they with each other, they, they go through, uh, they, they shed blood together, they, they shed sweat together, they work hard together. So they bring about like a brotherhood, sisterhood together. So they feel more comfortable with the tutors reading and writing or somewhat like in school, they might not feel comfortable because you got 10 jokers in the classroom that want to make fun of a guy who he, he really don't want to be there himself. Seven to 18. Seven, eight, yeah, okay. but we actually have taught some of their younger siblings how to read. We had taught a five, well, I think he was four or five, taught him how to read. And, uh, but the program is seven to 18 years old. The first day I was here, I remember there were a few kids who came in and they had brought extra homework. And they didn't even have, it wasn't even assigned homework, it was just extra homework. And they were saying, I really need to understand this. I don't get it. I know I need to know it. And when I met those kids, I was like, okay, I'm sold. Like, you guys need help, you want help. Take a test and kind of see what, what level they're at and then kind of work back from, from where they are to bring them to where they should be currently. I got all A's and B's and the only, only background I got was a C and I was in science. And once you started tutoring me, I got a, my grades have been increasing and I got a B in science. Every single student in here is very driven and they have, I know their brothers, their cousins, their sisters, their parents help with the boxing. I mean, it's awesome. Like while I'm tutoring kids in here, somebody's mom is over there working on nursing to become a nurse or like working on architects, like the architecture program. So I think what makes this gym special is that it's really a community. So our goal is not just to get them into college, but have them succeed once they get into, into college. I'm a national champ. Anthony Flagg is the um, former national champ. I believe he's third in the nation. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I was the first one to win the national at this year. In one, in one year. Um, I won in um, 2010. I like to train hard, work hard, and win fights. And um, when we go out to fight, look good. Make the whole gym look good. I'm trying to do something in my life and like trying to make a career out of turn pro. Try to be like one of the greatest of all time. It's not just the kids, uh, like like myself. I didn't grow up with my father, and a lot of guys didn't grow up with their fathers. So the first opportunity you get to work with your kid, it's a beautiful thing. Here you have a chance to work with your father. Your father don't feel no pressure because I'm not pressuring him. Your mother don't feel no pressure because I'm not pressing her, so she get a chance to interact with her son or daughter or, or you know what I mean, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and have fun. We got kids from Puerto Rico. You know, we have kids who come down here every weekend from like way up north in Ohio and stuff like that. You had, uh, we just had a, a girl here last week from Tennessee. You get to interact with people from all walks of life, but mostly what happens in the neighborhood is you're, you're confined to the neighborhood where you grow up at, and then so you get, end up stuck in that cycle. So you need to get out. So I want people to know that this is like an outreach for people. They get a chance to travel with the boxing. They get a chance to travel. They get a chance to meet people from everywhere. 
but that's what I want people to know.